Welcome back to my channel guys, it's time for another chapter review on the Elusive Samurai. Welcome once again, we're going to be reviewing the seventh chapter on the Elusive Samurai, a series that I have been trying to catch up on with. Uh, this week we finally uh, set, set our house to sell and uh, we got quite a bit of offers. We accepted one, so hopefully for the next few days I can have a little bit more extra time for myself, but we'll just have to see. For now, guys, uh, the seventh chapter of The Elusive Samurai is something that I really wanted to get out as soon as possible. So if you're watching this late, I am releasing this uh, pretty late today on um, on um, Sunday night. But anyways, I'll be releasing hopefully chapter eight of this week and hopefully also nine and ten um, and then one day one day will be cut up to the current chapter uh before anything if you have not done so by now make sure you subscribe to my channel uh thank you so much for those who have been subscribing and joining uh the group uh we are trying to get to 4400 before the 15th of this month that way it gives me motivation to have another giveaway so uh let's get there before the 15th we're just like 12 people away so if you haven't done so by now subscribe um okay the story continues and we see a little bit more of uh tukuyuki essentially training and um we see how he is really not the best swordsman and not even close to being even good he he is not able to cut through anything and pretty much is an embarrassment let's let's just let's just summarize it that way so um we we see more of his character development with the other characters is his training but we are introduced to this new character uh oga oga sawara Sadmun, sadmune and essentially he is uh an archer and he is brilliant in what he does the sad part to it is that he is working under Ashikawa. And Ashikawa is the one, the enemy, the the big uh, <laughs> villain of the whole story. So he actually is goes to the little town of where Tukuyoki is, and uh, Yoroshike uh, tells Tukuyoki to go hide in in a house up in a hill with his uh, assistants or helpers, and essentially. Uh, Sadmune approaches Yoroshika and says, hey, uh, I am your boss now. You know, we were acquainted at one point. I was below you. But now, guess what? Uh, I am in control of this. And we know that you guys, at some point, uh, at, were allies of the enemies to us. So the allies of our enemies have to be watched. So he, he basically sets the law, lets them know that they're being watched. And lets them know that they they need to be careful of what they're doing. So um, pretty straight through, you kind of get anxiety because at one point uh, the archer dude Samune uh, he mentions the fact that he knows that there's kids hiding in a house up in a hill, and he knows that there's people by some close by trees that are watching their conversation. Like he knows where everyone is. He has a very very sharp eye. So. Um, New enemy introduced, uh, very, very, very strong enemy. Uh, but at the end of the chapter, we 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 fi we, we figure out two things. Yoroshige has um, a plan for Tokuyuki's training. His offensive strategy is going to be plainly on learning how to uh, use a bow and arrow. He's used it before because when his dad was alive, he used to uh, practice because his dad enjoyed the sport. Um, so Tukiyuki has some experience with bow and arrow. But secondly, at the end of the uh, of the chapter, we find out that Yoroshige has a plan for uh, our new enemy, Sarmune, to be Tukiyuki's um, trainer. Now, it, he make it, makes it seem like he's not going to actually train him personally, but through how Tukiyuki sees the guy fight and uh, and even the tech stuff, uh, he is going to be able to learn. So really, he's basically going to be spying on this guy enough where he learns enough techniques to 
defend himself and be able to be to be to have some offensive power against him. Uh, at the first of the uh, part of the episode, it explained that the the only reason he was actually uh, given you know strength to defeat uh, his uncle who who killed his his brother uh, Horitoki. Um, it's because there is either you know, anger feeling him, and he was acting more out of the emotion, the fact that his brother was dead because of this man. So um, that explains why he was able to kill his uncle. Uh, but at this point, he's just he's not strong enough. He's not capable capable enough. And Yudashika, um, the priest, he has a good point. At some point in the chapter, he says, you know, if if we force him to train under the, the leadership of a sword and make him become a good swordsman. The best we'll get is an average swordsman and and a pretty weak, elusive, you know, fighter. He's not gonna he's gonna lose technique of being able to to run away and escape. So uh it's it's gonna end up not being good for him. So um that's that's the plan. We'll see what chapter eight looks like. I'm gonna assume that he's gonna have him kind of spy on our new uh, enemy, Sarmune, and it, it it's a little worrisome because he knows where everyone is, even though they're hiding, so I don't know how they're going to pull that off, but we'll see how they pull it off. <laughs> Hopefully, Chapter 8 explains all that, but we'll see uh, in the next few days. Thank you guys so much for watching this. Again, I'll try my best to catch up on everything, reactions, reviews, and all that. Uh, I am selling my house, so... It's just one of those things that you have to bear with me. I'm going to post whenever I can post. Uh, some days, some weeks, I just won't be able to, and that that's okay. In fact, I'll be traveling next week, uh, so that's, that's going to be a whole other week of maybe not posting, but I don't know. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this. We'll see what happens. Thank you for your love and support, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Comment, like, and share. Subscribe, and guys, like always, don't be strangers. See you guys.